Welcome back to the channel everybody, this is Codations. In today's video, I'm going to be jumping in here on Cookie Run Kingdom, bringing you guys a building upgrade guide. I'm going to be discussing which buildings are worth investing in or upgrading, which ones are not going to be worth investing, and then at the end of the day, why you should absolutely be upgrading them and what exactly it's going to be doing for you in the long run. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Diving right in, ladies and gentlemen. So the very first set of buildings we're going to talk about and discuss, and that's going to be your material buildings. Basically, these staple materials of every single recipe long term. Those things are going to be things like the lumberjacks logs. We've got the uh, jelly bean farm. We've got the sugar quarries. We've got the windmills. We've got the jelly berry orchard. Basically, the milk wells. Basically, the items that are going to be upgraded to give you more of the exact same item. You would 100% be maxing out these buildings. These buildings legitimately do not unlock new items. They're going to be unlocking bigger or higher quantities of those items for a longer wait period. It's very, very crucial because especially if you do not play the game all day long every single day like most players don't, then you can utilize this feature to your advantage. And not only that, this is going to be beneficial long term in the game because like I said, if you happen to not be in the game for quite you know so many hours, you can then schedule whatever is going to benefit you the most when you're not playing the game. And it's only going to help with accumulating these items long term. Alrighty, and then one last thing to mention here before we move on to the next section of buildings, that's going to be things like the wind meal and some of these other buildings only available with three individual slots and it's going to be a hundred percent worth the crystal investment in my opinion to upgrade those slots to have a four slot you know capacity the reason being is is like i mentioned before things like the windmill things like the you know jelly berry orchard and things like the milk well all of these are going to be very important resources for for recipes literally late game and you're going to be needing a ton of those individual items so basically having these additional slots yes they cost crystals 100% going to be worth it in my opinion because you are going to need those extra materials that can be produced in that fourth slot already now officially diving in here to the second section of buildings or the remaining amount of buildings and that's going to bring us to our good producing buildings basically utilizing the base material buildings to then craft a specific item or new items starting off this list we've got and that's going to be smithy 100% recommend getting the smithy to level 7 max as soon as you possibly can because you are going to need all of these items eventually not only for things like the technologies inside the laboratory but also clearing out land but also for specific recipes especially late game the next one up we've got and that's going to be our jammeries for me personally at least up until castle level 12 or at least castle level 12 going to castle level 13 i definitely think that level three out of level five of your jammery is a very good option here i would not think it's worth in leveling it up to level four or level five again i'm at castle level 12 and i have not at all needed castle or the needed the upgrade to level four or level five so again definitely not worth the investment here save your resources moving right along to the carpentry shop same thing here we've got a level three out of a max Max level four. Once again, I don't think it's worth upgrading it or needing to upgrade it at all. Like I said, I'm at castle level 12. Maybe once I want to, you know, move to castle level 13, then obviously I would need to do some of these upgrades on these buildings to then continue moving forward. But at the end of the day, a lot of players are staying at castle level 12 for as long as possible. So with that being and keeping that in mind, level three out of level four is going to be the best way to go for the carpentry shop. And then moving right along here to the bakery. Once again, we're at level five out of level six. If we scroll down here, you can see that we are going to unlock golden croissants by upgrading the bakery to level six. However, at the end of the day, the only thing that we're really looking for, especially at castle level 12 or up to castle level 12, are going to be unlocking these Castellas. These Castellas are going to be what you need to make gold and diamond rings. And in order to make those rings, like I said, you need these Castellas. You need your bakery up to level five, but you definitely don't need or have any use for golden croissants, at least at castle level 12. Naturally, if you're looking to upgrade to castle level 13 and above, then obviously you need to get in here and max out some of these buildings. But again, keep in mind, most players are sticking around level 12 because it just seems to be the best level for the resources and everything that you can farm. Moving right along here to the Jammery Diner, level three out of level six, in my opinion, is the sweet spot. Once again, you don't need any of these three items down here at level four, five, or six, at least not up until castle level 13 or above. The biggest thing you need here is going to be unlocking these candy pastas, which you would get at level three. 
Moving right along to the next one here we've got, that's going to be the Artisan's Workshop. Two out of four is going to be the best way to go here. Once again, you're looking to get these planter pots. You're looking to get these shiny glass, but you don't really have any use for these gleany beads. And then same thing goes down here for this colorful bowl. At the end of the day, at least up to castle level 12, you don't need them. Save your resource and invest in something else. The next one we've got here is going to be the flower shop. Once again, investing from level three is going to be the max investment, in my opinion. The best way to go, you need these candy bouquets. They go hand in hand with those cake pastas. So you absolutely want to make sure that you are working those two hand in hand. But again, after that, you don't really need any of these other flowers currently at the moment. And then for the overall dairy factory, the exact same thing here. Level one out of level three, in my opinion, is the best spot to be at. I know, I know it doesn't seem like you should, you know, be stuck at level one, because if I go down here, you can see that I got all the requirements to upgrade it to level two. The downside is, though, is it only unlocks the ability to make butter. And with, in essence, if you look down here, you can see butter costs us a whopping five milk. And milk takes quite a long time for you to invest in. If we were to come here and click on the milk well, you can see that it takes up to, what, 26 minutes and 53 seconds to make only two milk at a time and an hour and 55 to make five milk. So again, definitely a rare commodity here. You don't want to be investing in that, um, in my opinion. I definitely think it's worth to just to just stick at level one when it comes to that because again at the end of the day you don't really want to be spending your milk milk is a very top tier requirement that everybody is going to be needing an abundance of in the late game moving on to the next one we've got here and that's going to be latte cafe once again staying here at level one is going to be the best investment you can see that we could upgrade to level two but at the end of the day you don't really need these bubbly bobas and same thing goes for this sweet berry juice at least not up to castle level 12 which a lot of players aren't even up to castle level 12 yet so again definitely not worth the investment level one out of three is the best way to go toy store here is going to be level two out of three for the best investment you really need to get these jelly berry toys um, available. Once again, they kind of go hand in hand with that of like the candy bouquet, which we talked about earlier with the flower shop upgrade. At the end of the day, though, I would not invest in getting these pinata dragon toys because, again, it's just not worth your investment overall. Last but not least here, we've got a couple of more buildings. We've got Barrel Inn. Again, level two is going to be the maximum I would push this to. I would not push it to get the Vintage Root Bottle. It just takes basically a lot of additional resources and from other buildings that take a long time to produce things like those cupcakes. So at the end of the day, definitely only invest in level two out of level three for your Barrel Inn. Your Mason do, your Mason do Cake, make, if that's how you even say it. Nevertheless, again, level one out of level three is going to be the best here. As I mentioned before, these cupcakes or these muffins literally take three hours and 21 minutes to craft. Definitely not worth your investment. Same thing goes for the jewelry salon. What only thing you're really looking for is those glazed rings because you are going to need those glazed rings. But outside of that, they take four hours to make. Definitely not going to be worth investing to get these ruby um, berry brooches or even to get the jelly um, bear jelly crowns. Again, it's just going to take you a ridiculous amount of time to craft those materials. And it's going to take higher level materials, as you can see, something like the dream catcher, which you don't already have unlocked unless if you pump more upgrades into other buildings and waste resources. And then the last thing here, I want to mention before we hop out of this video and that's going to be just discussing three different materials we've got milk flour and jelly berries all three of those up at least to castle level 12 are going to be the rarest materials and the materials that you're going to need the most literally for all the top tier recipes so you definitely don't want to make sure that you are wasting them on any other upgrades or you know useless materials that you could craft Instead, hoard them up, save them up for these specific recipes or buildings that are going to need them because, like I said, they are super, super rare and there are, people need them more and more and you just can't craft but only so much in a lot of time. The next thing I want to talk about here before we jump out, and that's going to be taking a look at if you are looking to upgrade to castle level 13 and maybe you're sitting at castle level 12, one of the things you need to understand is something like the barrel in. When we go to the barrel in, you're going to need this to level 3 in order to upgrade to castle level 13. However, there's a long chain of things you're going to have to unlock if you want to do that. I definitely don't think it's going to be worth the investment. And what I mean by that is if we click here on the glittering yogurt wreath, you can see that we have to craft that from the flower shop. If we go to the flower shop, you can see that in order to get that wreath, you got to have your flower shop all the way up to level six, which is absolutely insane. Definitely not worth the investments because if you click on here, you can see we also need the Jammery Diner. We go back to the Jampery Diner. You can see that you're going to need it all the way to castle level five in order to make those pieces or pizzas or whatever to, you know, go back and get the other items. 
definitely not going to be worth the investment. If you are looking to upgrade to castle level 13, I think it's just worth getting in here, spending the additional 3,760 crystals that you would need to just automatically upgrade the building and then, you know, not have to unlock the ability to craft glittering yogurt wreaths. That's just my personal opinion. You guys let me know what your thoughts are down below on that. But at the end of the day, I just don't think it's worth upgrading all these other buildings in a track to just then be able to upgrade your barrel in just so then you can upgrade your castle to level 13. It's just faster and easier to spend the crystals. And that's going to be it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. As always, let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts are on these building upgrades. Definitely don't need to be upgrading or leveling up unnecessary buildings because once you unlock some of those items and craft 10 of them, then the game is going to start asking you for those all the time and not only that as your account does get higher level the items take a considerable more amount of time to craft and it's just not really worth the investment a lot of players that have been playing since day one myself included have already upgraded to certain castle tiers and people that have even upgraded past level castle 12 than me and they just absolutely regret it at the end of the day stick to castle level 12 for quite some time if you are looking to upgrade spend the additional crystals to upgrade your barrel in because i just think it's absolutely worth it as always guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe join the discord we got a discord link provided down below in the description i'll pop it up here in the corner as well for you to click on we've got over six thousand players over there that's always looking to help out anybody and everybody and as always guys i'll see you on the next one